Welcome back, Booyah Nation. Welcome back to episode number seven of our career mode with Manchester United. And let me ask you a question. Are you ready? Are you ready for an action-packed year with Manchester United? With plenty of Booyah music? With action-packed goals? With sexy plays? If you are, give me a hell yeah. <laughs> We're starting off the season, and the first game is the Community Shield against Wigan. And I want to come out and make sure we get a win and I get a trophy with Manchester United. I get some silverware under my belt and show these players they can have faith in me. Show these fans that they can trust in me. That it's, the, it's, it's now skills time instead of Fergie time. And I'm going to teach Manchester United how to dug it. I'm going to teach them how to play some good football. As you can see, we start off the game well with Valbuena putting in a sexy pass. That's right, Valbuena into the starting 11 playing against Wigan. And we also have a few deals going through right now. Tehran could be on his way over here. Can't wait for him to come over because it's a bit disappointing with the way Young's been playing. You might have seen I labeled this episode disappointing. And there's a reason for that. I'm going to tell you why it's there's disappointment in my head, in my mouth. Just why we're going to talk about disappointment. And a lot of it comes because of Young. But in the 41st minute, we got a good play going. And then Nani's first touch was disappointing. Now, we, we dropped the first couple disappointings right there. Not left mid, right mid. The positions have been very, very disappointing, man. Nani and Young have been disappointing. Mostly Young, though. Young doesn't have the pace. Young doesn't... Ha well, let me take that back. Young has the pace. Right there, you see his first touch is poor. He doesn't have the strength. He doesn't have the ability to make plays. And what we're lacking right now is a playmaker. That's why we bought Valbuena in. That's why we're looking at Tehran. We make it to halftime, and it's disappointing. Zero shots on target. Zero shots in general. But at least the game was still nil-nil. Here, Young makes a beautiful play, and I was happy with him. But then it's disappointing how he can't make it down the wing because he just gets muscled. We move on to the 51st minute where Valbuena is going to get a pretty good chance here to give us the lead. Nice fake shot suits it, but that gets blocked and Wigan get away pretty lucky there. We move on to the 54th minute when we put a great pass into Young, but once again, it's disappointing. Young can't put the cross into the middle. That probably would have given us the lead. And then when you can't make things happen, you start getting attacked. Right there, Garay, our new center back, made a beautiful, beautiful clearance with his head. I over the top it to Wayne Rooney. And here I'm thinking to myself, there's no way we don't take the lead, Wayne Rooney. Even his shot was disappointing. So a disappointing first 64 minutes for Manchester United. And well here, Vorm showing us Showing us some brilliance, showing us why we bought him, showing us that he can be a great goalkeeper and take De Gea's spot on this team. 68th minute, Wigan was right back in our faces. And that's right, these stupid little noobs were attacking us like they were Barcelona. And I actually want to talk about world class in a minute, but here you see a great header and Vorm comes up with a big boy save one more time for us. And yes, I end up giving a corner like a stupid little noob, but I just couldn't clear the ball. Now, I'm really trying to figure out the mechanics on uh, manager mode because obviously playing ultimate team, it's much easier to score goals. Uh, against the computer, I've been trying to figure it out and I haven't really got it yet. Valbuena here with a 76 minute chance and that little tug there kind of ruined it. And the reason I tell you I haven't really got it yet was because, <sighs> disappointing baby, disappointing. The reason I haven't got it is because it always seems like the center backs, the left, the left back and the right back are able to recover all the time. Even if you're burning them, somehow they're able to recover enough to be able to grab your shirt, pull you back a little bit and mess your shot up or take the ball from you. So we went down one nil and we had a great chance in the 90th minute, falls to Fellaini. Fellaini tried to swing it to RVP because RVP is the man to score goals. And somehow we whiffed the shot and we whiffed the game. That's right. Our first action of a, our first game that matters, our first game that actually goes in the books, we lose. And, and, and we lose in a bad way, in a disappointing way. Again, a bad taste in my mouth. But you know what? We can put this game behind us because the next game's a fresh start. We're going to have a fresh start when we start the season off against Swansea City. And Swansea has a bright, there's some bright stuff going their way. They just signed Boney. They just signed some key players. And they have a bright future, right? Well, we have to turn it around now. So we're going to put this game behind us. We're going to move forward. And we're going to start thinking about the future and not the past. We messed up. We messed up and didn't get silverware. But I'm sure we could rebound easily. So I sim here forward. And the reason I want to show you this and I didn't cut it out was because some things happened. As you can see here, 
Wigan offered for Wayne Rooney, as you guys saw in the previous episode. I told him to give me 70 million. They hit back and said he wasn't worth it. Um, so I was, I was actually okay with that. This is actually big news, and it's disappointing news. The reason we bought Garay was because Johnny Evans was going to be leaving for 20 million to Monaco. The problem is that deal falls apart. That deal falls apart. Johnny says he doesn't want to leave Manchester United. He says he wants to stay here. So now I brought in a, a center back to replace Johnny by the name of Garay for 20 million, thinking I was going to get 20 million back from Johnny and I was going to purchase a striker with that money. I'm honest with you. I was going to purchase a striker with that 20 million. Now Johnny stays and I'm broke as a joke. So disappointing once again. We move on to our next match against Swansea City. And Tehran is actually in the lineup. I, I couldn't be, I couldn't be bothered to play Young anymore. He wasn't making things happen. So I threw Tehran in the lineup. Nani was playing right wing. Tehran was playing left wing. Uh, RVP and Rooney were at the striker position. And obviously we got uh, Fellaini and Valbuena in the middle. So. Valbuena showed me some sparks of, of excitement, showed me some sparks of, of talent in the last game. We started this game off brilliant, over the top through pass to, to RVP, RVP couldn't finish. Then Wayne Rooney gets an amazing chance in the sixth minute, but you can see the defender recovers. Then it was too late, and that's what I'm talking about. It seems like the defenders are always uh, able to recover enough to stop the shot. Here, nine minutes into the game. Wayne Rooney off the crossbar. I mean, you saw us get unlucky against Wigan. And once again, we start the game off attacking, but we're not scoring. And, 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 and it's shocking to me because Swansea City's first chance of the game, their first shot on target, is going to end up in the back of the net because Vidic put Boney onside. Now, with players like Wayne Rooney, RVP, Nani, now Tehran, Valbuena, how are we not scoring more goals? How do we not score a goal against Wigan? How do we have a breakaway here in the 29th minute? RVP sees a cross, but then he cuts back, goes for the finesse. How are we not putting these into the back of the net? Now, I'm actually confused, and these shots in Ultimate Team would be in the back of the net. But that's what I'm saying, learning the career mode mechanics. It's changed now. I think I have to cross a lot. I think I think a lot of things are different. The over-the-top through passes aren't the same as they are in career mode. So I mean, in, in ultimate team. So I have to adjust myself. And I have to adjust myself quickly because we're already, this is the first game of the season. RV, I mean, Ronald, uh, Rooney, I was about to call him Ronaldo, Renuni. I almost called him RVP, Ronaldo, then yo, Rooney with like a weird little twisting kick there that almost snuck into the bottom of the goal. But... Unlucky for Wayne Rooney. RVP swings it over the top to Wayne Rooney again. It falls back to RVP. RVP smashes. And at that point, you could see the frustration. 45th minute. I just got frustrated. I was like, yo, I can't score from anywhere. Let me try smashing. Here we were in. I put Wayne Rooney in and the referee called for halftime. I was so salty. I was ready to break my controller. But it's, it's, it's frustrating because we've had so many chances and somehow I'm unable to put the ball into the back of the net. Here, how... How is this game not tied? 59th minute, RVP had a chance of a lifetime on his good foot, and he didn't tuck it home. And then in the 90th minute, we won ultra attack. Swansea City scores again. So I came to Manchester United to help them, to better them, to get them cruising, beasting, glory, all that. And I've lost two games in a row. First, I won, lost the Community Shield. Then I lose the first game in the BPL. I'm going to go ahead and hit Dortmund with the counter offer from Michael. But guys, if I don't get it together, I might get fired. If you enjoyed this, drop a like, subscribe. I'm your boy, Double A Nine Skills. Thanks for watching. And make sure you keep supporting these career modes like you guys always do. It's awesome, Booyah Nation. I love y'all for that. That's a Booyah, baby. I'll see you guys next time. Career mode, baby. I got to get it together. I'm going to get fired. <laughs> what if I get fired? That would be cheese.